Hi, Archie. How you doing? Are you doing good? Hey? Yeah. Want to go to the shop? Let's go see what's going on out there. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go see what's going on today. Well, I played with the van a little bit. I uh, I learned a new lesson from from the guys at Resolve Resolve EV. They uh, make a controller for the Nissan Leaf stuff. So I've been chatting with them, and I have a I have a VCM from them coming to replace the Thunderstruck. And when I was talking with them. He told me that the, my leaf parts, they don't need to match with exception of the motor and controller. And that's news to me because I did have a mismatching motor and controller running together. And, uh, and now that he's told me this, uh, this makes a little more sense. So since he's told me this, I took the controller that doesn't match, that I don't have a matching motor for whatsoever, off because it was running this motor and uh, so then I took it off and then I placed it with you see these auto record numbers 19k024 so that's that's the inverter so I I've, I've put it on the bottom of the stack this is a charger and DC DC from Montreal I have nothing that matches this but the inverter this piece here I do have one matching motor for this and thank God it's the one that's in the van that I've modified. <laughs> I kind of lucked out there. So here is the piece I cut off of the van, 19K024. 19K024. So I have the matching inverter and motor together and uh, it runs smoother. It definitely runs smoother. I took it up the street and back. Just now I'm down to 10% charge according to my pack sniffer and uh, so I can't do a lot of miles but I took it up and down the block and at a cruise trying to maintain you know not not accelerating but maintaining uh, there's way less rear end rattle so having the right controller and the right motor together seems to have made quite a difference kinda surprising that the wrong controller worked probably it was just close enough that it worked uh, what, what I'm suspecting is because because the numbers were wrong, the motor and resolver weren't working together, so my whole shot was probably a little weak, and then my cruise it was fighting. It was like accelerating, decelerating, accelerating, decelerating, while it's trying to maintain a constant RPM, and I think that's because the, the sensor that tells the motor position was a little bit out. So what I've been told is, so here, here's the other controller. Oh, can't see it. I'll open the back door, then you can see it. There it is. So that's the controller from Montreal. I, I don't have a motor that matches this. So what I've been told is to replace a motor or a controller in a Nissan Leaf, you have to type a code. You have to type a code in or something. You have to program the inverter with the right code. So here it is. Uh... It's hard to read. It doesn't matter if you can read it or not. That's the spot anyways. Right here, there's a number. And that number corresponds to how the resolver is positioned or how it's built or whatever. Uh, maybe maybe they sense after the resolver's in there and rotating and then they stamp the numbers on the side. And then that number has to be programmed into the inverter to make it run right. So I fluked out or maybe everything's a fluke. I don't know. But... And, you know, I ran the wrong motor with, with the wrong inverter, and it was working. But uh, now that I have the right motor inverter, it's definitely working better. It, it, it runs smoother. So I think probably even the whole shot will be better. We'll see. Anyways, thank you, Resolve EV, for straightening out another issue that I had and I didn't even know I had. So I was happy with it before. Now it's even better. So thank you very much. I think your kit should be here this week. I'll wire it in, and then with with the Resolve EV kit, I should be able to 
take control of this charging unit, finally charge it up. I'm down to 10% charge. I have a pack sniffer. I'll show you that, that you that in a different video. But uh, definitely down to about 10% charge. So no more driving. I got to get this thing charging. So thank you, Resolve EV. We'll see if see if what you got going on is uh, going to solve all my problems. While I'm waiting for it, that's why I've been working on this silly bike. Is uh, it's been occupying my spare time while I wait for parts to get the van going. Because I really don't care about that bike bike there. I just want to get driving the van. So that's all. There's my update. Apparently, your motor has to match your inverter. Huh. Who would have thought? Thanks for watching. Catch you next round.